Just ask Jen. <laughs> Well, here we are. We made it to March, guys. Welcome to this month's episode of Just Ask Jen. As you can see, the groundhog was right. Spring came early and this apricot tree is already in bloom. Why not get outside on these beautiful spring days? Let's take a look at today's top story. There are many factors that affect the real estate market other than interest rates. Some of those are inflation, the bond market, Billionaires moving money around. Why are they doing that? What do they know that we don't? Taxes, government policies. Remember, it's an election year. Who knows what's to come? Housing inventory is a huge factor. And consumer debt. The Fed says Americans are in debt. I am talking a big uptick in consumers in America are now over 90 days delinquent on their credit cards. For most Americans, their most valuable asset is their home. If you plan to use your home to pull yourself out of debt, know your options now. Here's the good news, guys. All of these stats come from nationwide numbers. Typically, we're lucky in Oklahoma, and they kind of trickle down to us in the end. So don't get yourself in a pickle because you're too stubborn to downsize. And we're back in the garden. Take a look at these dwarf peach trees. They are so cute and they're already blooming. Tomatoes are going. It is time to get out in the garden. Let's talk mortgage rates. Rates for February were 6.6 .6 to 6.9. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what the Australian chick said, right? Rates are expected to remain in the 6% range all year. I guess she does know what she's talking about after all. Well, how about them peaches? Do you see this guy? Mocking me all day. No rainbow, no pot of gold, just mocking me. What can I say? Anyway, the new buzz is rates are supposed to go up into the sevens, then drop down to the five. But as you know, we're still kind of in that sweet spot of the sixes like we are planning. But if you need to refinance, you are needing that one point. It's important to you. It's time to call your mortgage professional now and get on their radar. It's the grown-up word of the month. This silly segment of my show is inspired by my children's program that I do on the side. I will leave a link in the description if you're curious. But as grown-ups, we kind of have to take a mental break and go to the corner and be in timeout just for our own mental sake. So keep that in mind this spring when you've got children running around on spring break. It's okay as a grown-up, to stop and take a moment for yourself. So this month's word for all the grown-ups out there is focus. Focus is the act of putting your concentration together on one particular task or item or object or person. So don't forget that this spring. Refer back to your grown-up word of the month, focus, throughout the month of March, and I'm hoping you will have better mental health. Thanks again for tuning in to this month's edition. I will see you guys next month.